Good morning all. Welcome back to Examiner 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 15th and 16th January 2023. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's begin the session. Who has launched an initiative called Soul of Steel? Rajnath Singh. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched an initiative called Soul of Steel that seeks to promote high altitude endurance and adventure in Uttarakhand's Garhwal Himalayas. The Indian Army is supporting the adventure challenge. The Soul of Steel is being organized by Glow Global, an entity comprising a group of veterans. Soul of Steel is a unique blend of specialized skills, including high altitude mountaineering, extreme cold survival, physiological endurance, and physical toughness. Who has launched a new archaeometry project? Narendra Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a new archaeometry project. What is this project? Under this project, India will provide essential medical supplies to any developing country affected by natural disasters or humanitarian crisis and propose to set up a standard of excellence to facilitate development solutions to these countries. Who has been appointed as the Executive Director of Karnataka Bank? Shekhar Rao Private sector lender Karnataka Bank has appointed Shekhar Rao as the executive director of the bank for a period of three years, effective from the date of taking charge, subject to approval of the shareholders. Let's talk about Karnataka Bank. Karnataka Bank Limited is an Indian private sector bank. It is founded on 18th February 1924. Where is the headquarters of Karnataka Bank? Mangalore, Karnataka. Who is the managing director and CEO of Karnataka Bank? Mahabaleshwara MS. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following banks MD and CEO tenure has been extended by the government recently? The answer is Bank of Baroda. The Appoints Committee of the Cabinet has given its note for the extension of the term of Bank of Baroda's incumbent Chief Executive Sanjeev Chada till June 30, which is his date of superannuation. Let's talk about Bank of Baroda. It is a public sector bank founded on 20th July 1908. Where is the headquarters of Bank of Baroda? Vadodara, Gujarat. Who is the chairman of Bank of Baroda? Hasmuk Adia. Who is the managing director and CEO of Bank of Baroda? Sanjeev Chada. His tenure has been extended by the government. Which regulatory body in India has released a consultation paper on license fee and policy matters of DTH services? TRI, Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. TRI released a consultation paper on license fee and policy matters of DTH services. This consultation paper has been prepared to seek the comments and views of the stakeholders on issues related to license fee payable and back guarantee furnished by DTH operators. Let's talk about the license fee. The license fee is a non-tax fee levied on a service provider against the privilege of being permitted to carry out a licensed activity. In India, currently the DTH operators are required to pay a license fee of 8% of adjusted gross revenue on a quarterly basis to Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Let's talk about TRI. TRI is a regulatory body under Ministry of Communications. It founded on 20th February 1997. Where is the headquarters of TRI? New Delhi. Who is the chairperson of TRI? P.D. Vagela, IAS. 
who is the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology, Minister of Railways and Minister of Communications, Ashwini Vaishnav. Google paid tribute to Kashaba Dada Sahib Jadav on his 97th birth anniversary by dedicating a creative doodle. He was a wrestler. Kashaba Dada Sahib Jadav, an Indian wrestler, celebrated his 97th birthday on January 15 with a Google doodle. He was the first athlete from an independent India to take home an Olympic medal. His notable accomplishment was winning a bronze medal in wrestling at Helensky Summer Olympics in 1952. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually flagged off the one-day Bharat train service between Second Rava to Vishak Patanam. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually flagged off the one-day Bharat train service between Second Rava in Telangana and the port city of Vishak Patanam in Andhra Pradesh on the auspicious occasion of Magar Sankranti. The first Vande Bharat Express train to operate between the two Telugu states will run between Secunderabad and Vishak Patanam in 8 hours and 30 minutes. Sandok Singh Choudhury passed away. He was a politician. Sandok Singh Choudhury was an Indian politician who was a cabinet minister of Punjab and a member of parliament from Jalandhar constituency. Let's check previous day question and answer. Which is the most polluted city in India according to the Central Pollution Control Board report? Delhi. A recent data by Central Pollution Control Board claimed Delhi to be India's most polluted city in 2022 with the PM 2.5 levels more than double the safe limit and the third highest average PM10 concentration. Among the most polluted cities with respect to PM2.5 levels, Delhi ranked first, Haryana's Faridabad ranked second, and Uttar Pradesh Ghaziabad ranked third. According to the analysis of Central Pollution Control Board, let's check today's question. What is India's rank in the Handley Passport Index? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.